I'm painting the top of the deck, the very top where the chimneys are going gray because it would have been a working surface and they wouldn't have planked it. Not for, um, because the passengers wouldn't really be up there. So I've been putting in the railings. Here they are. All the pins from this pin box here. And I've been hammering them in and then with the calipers, with the calipers making sure they're all 10 millimeter high, exactly the same. I've had some little things where a board is split, but it's not too bad. There we go. And I did it on the front bow of the ship as well. Just hammer them in. It's take me a while. So I, I'm putting on the lifeboat cranes one by one. This side's already been glued, as you can see it's tight. So I put them in here like this, and I'm measuring from the deck up 42 millimeter. That was supposed to be the height. That's a little low. There you go, there's one. So I gotta pull some up and put some down. I think this side's that height. Yeah. So what I'm doing now is taking a little bit of epoxy and putting them in the hole. and then around the stay. See? And then fix him in here. If you leave that dry for overnight. There you go. And you leave that dry. It's set, right? And then I set the height to the center of the circle. 42 mil. And I'm going to keep doing that all the way along until they're done, like these are done, see? I'll just tip it up so you can see what it looks like. There you go. Getting a boat now. And then, you know, the little lifeboats are going to hang down here afterwards. So I've taken a raw plug and sawn it off here, right? And then I took a little Dremel and made a little sanded dip curve in, in the um, raw plug. I took some dowel and basically, I'm going to show you one that I tested. There we go. And that's going to be those air vents on top of the ship. So the top of the dowel's epoxied on the, dowel, on the wooden dowel. The you know, drywall things for holding in screws, you know, for your towel racks and that. And that's going to go on top of the ship in the end. So I've done a stack of them here. And they're all drying. That's how I'm going to make the air vents. So I soldered the, uh, you know, the wire mesh pieces. You know, you buy wire mesh like this here in grids. And I cut out to it. I made that the window for this. I went down and bought these down in a hardware store, these little eyelids for the sides of the cabin. And then I got the square in front and then I have another one on the other side. So it's going to stand on the boat on top like that and they'll be on the sides. So that's what I was just up to. I just actually soldered this on. I have to clean it up. And I'll show you some of the other work I've done. Yeah, so what I've been up to lately, I've um, put in all the, drilled all the holes for these lifeboat crane holders or stays or whatever you call them. So I've drilled them all and epoxied them in. I put in clips on there for to hold the lifeboats and they've been soldered closed on top so they can't keep falling off. I uh, yesterday um, epoxied the chimneys on, sprayed them black and this is a chopstick here and then on this back piece is the chopstick I put on. It doesn't look like one at all. And then I sprayed them black just with a bit of masking around the brass piece and in the inside and epoxy those on. Uh, I put in all the pins for the railing, right? I painted this edge inside black and outside so that when I put this piece on, that it's set for good once I do that. So I'm getting close to that. I put this, you know, wire mesh you can get in a hardware store onto this, like a top of a window, I'll make those blue inside. 
And I made the cabin with three front windows and two sides and a back one as well out of the wire mesh. So now we're beginning to really look like a boat here. So I'll just give you a close up of that, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not too sure whether I will leave the um, the sewing thread on the needles because I got some wire down there that might help. And here's the cabin, the front cabin. Maybe I can close in on it. There we can see the eyelids that I bought down in the hardware store right in here behind that stay. And I put square windows in the front. Oops, sorry. Pull back a bit. Chimneys. Uh, painted and poxied on, lifeboats, um, cranes put on and the hooks. Painted the inside of this trim edge black inside and out. So, and I painted the front cabin. But I can see the wood inside this front cabin, the steering wheel cabin, so I might have to paint that a different color. But you know, we're getting a feel for the boat now and what it's going to look like.